What's up guys, in this video I am going to show you that how you can change the background color of your buy it now button. So currently you can see that on my screen I have this add to cart button then we have buy it now button. So this is basically the Shopify store and in the previous video I have already mentioned that how you can change the add to cart button background color. So if you have not watched that and you are interested to modify that color, I will be adding the link below in the description and you should follow that video and definitely you will be able to modify that uh, specific background color of the button. In this video, I will be showing you uh, step by step that how you can modify the color of the buy it now as well and make sure that if you are not having a coding experience, then you have no need to worry about because this is a simple thing that you have to do in your store. So I will be showing you how you have to add the few lines of code into one of the file and then definitely it will work. So first of all, I am going to this uh, uh, dashboard of the Shopify store. So uh, I, will be, uh, I will be showing you uh, using the three themes uh, which would be like debut theme, simple theme and Brooklyn theme. So if you have any other theme and you have uh, just copied the same code into your file and if it doesn't work, then you can also connect me. I will be adding the contact details below in the description. So I will be helping you out with that uh, specific problem. All right. Otherwise, you can copy the same code and paste it over there and, uh, and the background color of the uh, buy it now button would be modified. So let, let's take the example of debut theme first of all. So I have clicked on themes and I will be redirected to this specific screen and here you can see that we have debut theme already published let's click on actions then we have edit code so once you are clicking on edit code then you will be redirected to the back end of the shopify store so here we will be having some folders files so if we are interested to change some back end coding then we can do from here so first of all you have to go to the assets folder and then after you have theme.css so in some cases you will be getting theme.scss.liquid or something like that. So you can also uh, open that one. So here you can see that we have a lot of CSS over here. So you have to scroll it down and at last we are going to add some CSS code. All right. For example, down below here. So what we will be doing here is like Currently, you can see that we have buy it now. I'm going to click right click and inspect on it. You have no need to do this thing. I'm just giving you the proof that how you can uh, identify that specific class name or ID or uh, element name. So here you can see, the, see that we have this button and we have the ID of Shopify dash payment dash button underscore underscore button. So what you will have to do is and this is this specific thing is inside of this Shopify dash payment button. So first of all, I'm going to copy this class name and let me paste it over here. But make sure that adding class name selector, you have to add here a dot operator. Then I am adding Shopify dash payment dash button. Then after you have to go ahead and copy this class name, which is Shopify dash payment dash button underscore underscore button. So I'm just copying this uh, class as well. And let me paste it over here but again i am writing here dot operator then i am pasting over here now i am going to uh, add the background color background which is first example i am writing here blue let me save these changes once these changes are saved then let me refresh this again so you can see that buy it now button uh, color has been modified and one more thing that we need to modify is once we are hovering over this buy it now button then if you are interested to modify the color also so what you will have to do is you have to just copy the same code again and paste it down below and on the right hand side of this specific class name you have to add colon then hover and here I am right changing the color green so I have just made a small change which is colon hover. So that means when we are hovering over this element and the, at that moment background color would be green. So let me save these changes again. And let's refresh this. So here you can see that by it now let me hover over it and you can see that this is not modified. So in some cases you will have to write here 
x sine of x elimination then important so that means we are overriding the css because already the red color is uh, mentioned i mean written in this css file so if we are interested to modify with uh, the new color so we are forcefully trying to implement this one so we have to write uh, sign of exclamation then we have to write important so let me refresh this again and let me hover over it and now you can see that we have uh, modified successfully the background color of this specific button all right and make sure that if this is also not working then you have to uh, also write sign of exclamation and import it all right so in that way you will be overriding uh, the css property forcefully because we are interested to use this specific color and the older color is already mentioned in in this file uh, also so we are interested to modify it forcefully so we will have to write sign of exclamation then important so this is the way to modify the background color so let's copy the same code from here and i am going to save this one here or maybe uh, yes we are interested to remove this uh, these properties from here and let me save these changes and i am going to close this file and let's try with different theme so i am going to click on themes and then currently this theme is debut theme now we are interested to use a uh, simple theme for example so click on actions then you need to click on publish and let's click on publish so now you can see that the active theme is simple and let me refresh this page now you can see that we have add to cart button then we have buy it now button so buy it now button don't have that specific uh, color which we have already added in the previous theme so let's modify the code in this theme click on actions then click on edit code then after you will be redirected to files and folders so you have to search the theme.css file somewhere so let's see if that is the same file in this theme as well otherwise there would be theme.scss so you have to click on assets and then we have theme.scss.liquid so this is not theme.css but theme.scss.liquid so click over it and also scroll it down and here i am going to paste that code so i have just paste uh, going to paste it over here because i have already uh, added uh, the code in the previous theme and i just removed from there and copied and paste it over here let me save these changes and let me refresh this page now you can see that by it now uh, button color has been modified if you are hovering over it and then you can see that the green color is implemented so that means this is really simple you can just copy and paste that same code to any of the theme so let's try with uh, the third theme which was so i am again going to remove from here and let me save these changes and let me close this file and if you are refreshing this page again you will no more able to see that css property so this is not so let's try with the third theme so here this was uh, here we have the simple theme then we have brooklyn theme so let's click on actions then we have to click on publish and let's click on this publish button now the active theme is brooklyn and if you are clicking on this refresh button then you will be getting little different design here this is buy it now this is add to cart so we are interested to modify the uh, modify the background color of these buttons as well so let's click on actions then click on edit code so again you will be redirected to the files and folders screen and there we will be finding theme.css file somewhere so we have the layouts folder we have the templates folder and down below we have the assets folder click over it and we have theme.scss.liquid again i am going to click on this file and you have to scroll it down and go to the last all right and at last you have to add again the same code which we have just copied from there so i have just pasted that same code let me save these changes 
and let's see if that is working here in this scheme so I refreshed the, that and now you can see that by it now button color has been modified and if we are hovering over it then the color is also changed so that is working fine all right so let me remove from here as well let's try with any other theme which is popular because sometimes there are people who are having different themes so maybe they are not having the same code so let's try with a different theme so if I'm refreshing this again then the default color would be over there so let's click on themes again and let's see a different theme which is uh, here we have three themes so mostly people are using venture themes so let's try with this one let's click on add to theme library and once that is added then we have to publish that one so this is actually loading here so once that is loaded successfully then we will be uh, publishing it so let's click on actions then we are going to publish this one and here we have to click on publish and now the active theme is venture theme and if I am refreshing this product page then you can see that we have this default color uh, of the button so let me modify the code over here as well so click on edit code actions then edit code and then you will be redirected to the same files and folders of the theme so once again we are interested to find assets folder inside of it we will be having theme.scss.liquid file so click on this one and again scroll it down at last and here we are interested to paste the same code so let me save these changes again and let me refresh this page So finally we have modified the color so for example you are interested to keep it uh, instead of blue I am interested to make it uh, for example black let me save these changes and let's refresh this again now you can see that we have black color and once we are hovering over it then it is blue so one more thing is for example we are adding here yellow color and let me save these changes once saved so here I am going to show you some important things so I refresh this page and now you can see that we will be having this specific color which is yellow and on yellow color the white uh, color text is not showing uh, correct way in a correct way so I am interested to uh, change the color of the text so how I will be doing that I have to add here color which is for example black and I am also interested to write here important all right let me save these changes once saved then let's refresh this page now you can see that we have buy it now bu uh, button and here we have the black color of this one and if you are hovering over it and you are interested to keep uh, white color of the text then you can again copy this same property from here and paste it down below and going to modify with white alright so let's save these changes because once we are hovering over it uh, over the button so if we are interested to keep it wide so that is also possible so let's ref uh, refresh and you now you can hover over it and you can see that the text color is different all right so this is really simple if you are thinking that you are facing any problem or you ha have any trouble with the coding you can connect me i will be helping you out with whatever problem you are facing i can develop your uh, Shopify store I can solve the technical issues so if you have any type of issue you can uh, contact me and I will be helping you uh, with any of the problem which you are facing 
so thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and like this and uh, yeah uh, see you in the next video